Good evening, class. My name is Vincent. Did you know that one in three Americans suffer from lack of sleep? Now, this is a pretty staggering finding, in my opinion. And oftentimes, this topic doesn't really get the recognition that it deserves. It's a pretty serious issue at hand. And today, I hope to bring much more awareness to that. And hopefully, you guys learn something new. So with that being said, today, I will talk about what exactly it does as well as the causes and the possible solutions to it. So without further ado, let's get into it. I want to start off by reading a quote. <clears throat> it says, in 1942, Americans had 7.9 hours on average per night compared to 6.8 hours in 2013, which is a 13% decrease, according to Gallup News. Now, while the decrease isn't as significant it still goes to show that because this this was published in 2013 that was a couple years ago however it still shows the decline that we're heading in as technology keeps on increasing the lack of sleep is decreasing and it's pretty interesting to see how back in the day because of the lack of technology people were allowed to get much more rest and you know nowadays that isn't the case. However, so what exactly does lack of sleep do to you and how does it affect you? Well, it affects you in many different ways. It creates a fogginess in your mind. You're always tired, you feel sluggish. And on a more serious note, it can eventually lead and increase your chances of getting chronic and developing chronic diseases such as hypertension, diabetes among those and as well as uh, much more now the possible causes for this I mentioned one previously was the rise of technology now technology is very essential to us it's a very vital part an important part in today's society we use it for many different things however it can also become very detrimental especially when it comes to sleep so I want to read you a quote that says it's it was published by the Sleep and Health Foundation. It says the bright screen from devices can cause increased alertness. Activities on such devices can be stimulating and make us less ready to sleep as well as people can become absorbed and continue using technology beyond their usual bedtime. So essentially what's going on here is, as we continue to use our devices, especially like an hour before or two hours before we go to bed, it really does affect us and it increases our alertness, resulting in lack of sleep. However, one crucial part of technology that really affects us is the use of social media. And I know many of you can agree with me, social media definitely is a crucial factor because everybody's constantly on social media, you know, checking your Twitter, your Instagram, your TikTok or whatever. And, you know, you kind of get caught up in the moment and that in turn definitely affects um, your alertness. So it makes it much, much more difficult for you to fall asleep. And yeah, that's, I mean, that's a given, you know, it definitely affects us like that. And um, yeah, as well as another thing that definitely affects us is the increase in labor. So we live in a capitalist society, you know, much, much more jobs are needed. And, and so by increasing the workforce and, you know, and labor, it makes it a lot more difficult for us to get to get enough sleep than you know people did back in the day you know especially living in california it's very difficult to sustain a single job you know especially if you're living on your own um sometimes you know getting two jobs is uh is definitely a reality and in turn that can also affect your sleep so those are two possible causes that definitely can prevent you and yeah, kind of become detrimental for you. Now, lastly, moving on, 
to the solutions. Now these are the very crucial things. So for the solutions, according to the Daily Wire, some recommendations include keeping a regular sleep-wake cycle, uh, trying to go to bed and waking up at the same time every day. Now there's different, see, technology can be very assisting, but it can also be, you know, it has its pros and cons. So if you're very serious about your sleep, um, I suggest, you know, downloading apps. There's apps where you can log in your your sleep and it actually records how long and stuff like that with neat features. So that's one possible solution. Another solution could be avoiding things like caffeine, alcohol, and nicotine four to six hours before bedtime, as well as uh, eating not eating larger meals within a two hour range of bedtime. So these are a couple ways, a couple solutions, but in the end, it really comes down to self-discipline. Now, I know this is very difficult difficult for many of us because, you know, we're busy, we, we have busy lives, and most of the time we don't put our sleep up there. So it's definitely one of those things that, you know, we should recognize and we should be like, okay, you know what? My sleep comes first, I'll put my phone down, I'll turn it off. You can do little things like that, like setting your phone aside, you know, putting it across the room so you don't have to, you know, constantly keep on checking it, stuff like that. But ultimately, what you wanna do is maintain a consistent regimen, a strict, not too strict, you know, up to your standards, but definitely something that um, you can maintain and in turn, it will definitely help you um, achieve better sleep. I apologize, my phone died. So all in all, it is very important that we recognize this issue at hand and we give it the importance that it deserves because let's face it, sleep is a very vital and essential part of our everyday life. You know, everybody goes to sleep. If you don't sleep, you're definitely gonna suffer from some sort of, you know, cognitive uh, issue or something. It's just not sustainable. So. With that being said, next time you go to bed, you know, just think twice about using your social media an hour or two, eating that meal an hour or two before going to bed. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's a very important thing for your health and in the long term, you know, to increase your longevity and preventing from uh, developing chronic diseases. So with that being said, uh, that concludes my speech and have a good night.